been an interesting situation, hasn't it, over the last few weeks with that book? You know the one I'm talking about, Revenge, by Tom Bauer. Because if you believe the book, then of course you will have seen or heard some of the many stories being rectified, which were put out during that now infamous interview by Harry and Meghan on Oprah Winfrey. And again, it's an interesting thing, isn't it? Because we hear all these rumours about how Harry and Meghan have fallen out with Oprah. Seemingly, they don't have many friends now circling around them. But what we did know and what we have found out is that some of these things have been corrected. And as I said before here on the show, it's an interesting dichotomy because Harry and Meghan so far have not become any litigation towards Mr. Bauer or indeed his publishers. And as I said also, the longer that goes on, the more these particular stories sustain the basic outline, the narrative. But what is interesting that I did find out that's not included in the book is this. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Beautiful green day again today. Hope you're all well. Thank you so much for joining me. And as ever, lovely to have your company. Do spread the word. Let everybody know what we're doing here on this channel. We're totally impartial. We film all around London. And sometimes we're even lucky enough to get out of uh, London and go across the United Kingdom. So we'll keep you posted when we next pop up. We have been to Leeds, Bradford, Halifax. I know they're in Yorkshire. Love to go elsewhere. But you know, with the national tra train strike, that's really annoying isn't it yeah just when you're planning a day trip bang there comes another strike you like that in your world back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day this is rather serious in fact because as we know all thanks to Megan's um, you know narrative her truth on the Oprah Winfrey show her time in Kensington Palace apparently was that one of trapped you know passport taken no car keys couldn't leave it, confined a little bit like Rapunzel, you know, with her own hair weave, as it were, you know, trapped in the ivory tower, nothing to do all day, couldn't even go for lunch with her friends, if that's what you believe. What's actually emerged, and from a very good source, is this. We do know that Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, is a very caring lady, and I'm not biased, you know, there's just so many people telling me what a kind soul she truly is. But this particular story really did make me think how true it is because as we've seen on film and off guard moments just the sort of lady she is she just wants to reach out get to connect with people like people very good for her job in her forthcoming role one day as queen but what is interesting is this apparently as ever close to a very good source and as ever we have to say allegedly uh, kate did take the time out to reach out to megan almost on a daily basis time permitting when she was based at Kensington Palace. This might have just been a daily call or a knock on the door. How are things? How are you doing? And what is interesting, what that close source told me, and they're very close indeed, is that never at any time did Meghan actually claim that she felt lonely, trapped, cut off, or all the things that she cited in the Oprah Winfrey interview. Now, one could say, well, she didn't know her that well, didn't possibly want to, uh, you know, label her with all of her problems, all that sort of stuff. But they are two women in the same role together, and of course, they're married to two brothers of the same family. You would have thought there would have been some kind of connection there but seemingly not. Now, what we have found out is that Megan, of course, kept connected to all of the PR teams, marketing and agents all back in California. So perhaps she told them her woes rather than possibly the person who was reaching out to her and trying to make her feel welcome in a family that must have felt at times rather alien to her. Whichever way you look at it, this story really does roll on. And it's very difficult to make your mind up over who is naturally telling the truth. And when I say that, I mean the truth from Kate's side of it. I can see, of course, that she would have been the type of person that would have shown concern and worry. And isn't it a shame and strange that Meghan really didn't want to take up that opportunity to reach out to Kate? What a powerhouse they could have been if only they'd have got connected on the right levels. Neil Sean, Kensington Palace, London.